the workflows on my page are starting to grow. And it's good to develop a practice to make sure that we organize our workflows so they are much easier to manage. Let's have a look at how we can do this. So what I tend to do is I look for the different types of actions. So let's say we have a button new project flow. Okay, so we're creating data. I'm gonna change this to a green color. Submit a new project that's related to creation. Maybe we have editing could be blue. Here is another edit button. Let's make that blue. And we can continue with this process for deletion is maybe red, cancels maybe orange, etc. But we also have folder categorization. So why don't we create a new folder? We could call this create. And then I can move my creation based workflows into the create folder. Anything that is not in a folder, Bubble automatically places by default in an uncategorized folder. And what I love about this particular process is now I can collapse this folder. And this is just making my life as a developer a lot easier because I can now navigate this workflow sidebar much more quickly and find the particular workflows I need. Another great feature is the ability to search. So I can look for any creation workflows by simply typing in create. And there we go, there is my creation workflow ready to edit. The last little feature I'd like to point out is that we can also change how these workflow steps are laid out. So we can actually choose a compact view if we'd like, and then back to the default view. And we can leave notes on any one of these steps because maybe we need to leave ourselves some notes or our team members some notes as well. 